Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of our Bursa Spore Saves. This is episode 2. Um, my lighting is janky as always, because I don't have proper equipment, but yay! We have enough. Um, my lovely shitty Logitech webcam and all that and stuff. But yeah, so again, I apologize for the awful lighting. Um, got the Milan top on today, because we played Fiorentina, and I don't want to lose, because yay. But besides the fact of the team I sport and uh, they make me cry, um, into the actual game. So, here we are. Uh, here's the preseason. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a long preseason. I've tried to play as many games as I can to really get a good idea of the squad and all this stuff. So we have played some teams, obviously from the first division. We've played some teams from in Europe. Shakhtar, Trabzonspor, Fenerbahce, Sambo Bakashir, Kamaguruk, uh, people like that. So also some lower teams as well, and it's been a lot of different people and varying things. The one nice trend I will say is that we have scored in every, we've scored in almost all but a few. And obviously, like, I'm fine not scoring against them and them, but besides like one or two other games, we scored against almost everybody. Which is really nice, because it at least means we can put goals in the back of the net. And at this level, I think that's going to be what the most important is. Um, now, once I started getting the team a little more together, we started picking up some much better results, um, which is really nice. So, like, we ended preseason a lot stronger. This this month, I'd say August, I really pushed for better 11s, and we did quite well, um, which is nice to see. So I was really happy with that um, <clears throat> and all that stuff. So uh, squad-wise, some of the best players, obviously, these guys. He's actually been really, really good, this guy, up front. I've been really, really impressed with him um, so far. Uh, yeah, 12 goals in tw in uh, 12 games and 3 assists. He's been fantastic up front um, in this system, which is really good to see. Um, this guy's been pretty damn good as well. Decent, 5 goals, 1 assists. Uh, I think Shane's got like 5 or 6. Yeah, he's got 5 goals, 7 assists. He's done pretty well. Um, <clears throat> I think he... No, he didn't get 1, but uh, he's done pretty well too. Yeah, we have a few people. This guy, this academy player I brought up, has actually not been terrible himself. I'm trying to get him to play on the right, though, because he can cut in with his left foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he's been a little disappointing, this guy. I was hoping for him to be a bit better, but it's all right. I mean, look, we'll, we'll work on things. But yeah, we, we have some players who've been pretty good. This guy's definitely improved. Um, I feel like he's been pretty damn good for us, as well as some of the friendlies. And... Uh, Oh yeah, this guy's been brilliant as well. He's been really, really good. Uh, obviously, he's a new gen, so take it where we can. I think he's got potential to be first division. No, second division. But yeah, so overall, I'm pretty happy with how stuff's gone. Now, we do have some interest on a few players. Uh, this guy's wanted... There's another guy that's wanted, isn't there? I thought there was two people that are wanted, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, they're, they're not one at all. Now, financially, this is where stuff is getting a little messy. We have a transfer embargo. We cannot sign anybody for a very, very long time. Um, let me see if I can search this. Embargo. What? Donut? Ah. Transfer. Um, what, what would you call this? What can I s filters? Um, finance. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can find this. This is this is gonna be funny. This is really really sad. Transfers and finance. What? How can I not find this? Bam. Ah. Maybe we can find it by doing this. No! Where the, the, the... How do I show if there's a tra... I, I can't remember the date. There's some way to show this. News. No. Profile. Where do you? Sh where does it show that you have a ban? Like I don't even know how I show this. 
facilities? No. Uh, overview? Landmarks? No, not notes. I don't know why it'd be any of these. I'm trying to figure, where on earth would this be? I have no clue where to find this. Income, expenditure, wages. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we have a lot of debt. Uh, I don't know how to find this. This is ridiculous. Where is this? Let's see, let's just go to random player. Schedule, click on you. Click on you. So yeah, we're under a transfer embargo. I don't know when. I don't know till. How can I not find this? Transfer. I honestly have no idea how I'd find this. But we're under a transfer ban, in essence. And I don't know when it's till, but it it's for a, a serious amount of time. There has to be a way to find this. I'm gonna figure this out. Cause I'm I'm livid that I can't figure this out. Um in essence, we're under transfer ban for like the whole season, from what I remember. So we can't sign anybody. So it's it's a bit of a problem. Now, I did let some people go on freeze. I think these are all mine. Yeah, these are all my players. So, <clears throat> obviously here, as you see here, I managed to balance the wage bill. I don't know how the fuck I managed this, but I did. I sold almost all our academy players. I got a lot of them out. I tried to keep the better potential ones up to the best of my ability, but I did get several players out. And I sold one or two first team players. Now, oops, sorry about that. Transfers we let four guys go here. So this guy went out. Um, obviously he's not very good. I got this guy out. Wasn't good either. This guy as well, not very good either. This guy shit as well. This guy also shit. And this guy also shit. So I managed to get four shit players out, and it freed up a lot, because I think they all had like 350 to 500 in terms of wages, which cleared up a lot of room. And then I also re refinanced or not refinanced. I finagled one or two players in the scouting budget and stuff to get us some money. And I dropped bonuses and I did a few things here and there. So I managed to get us good. I played some friendlies, got some money from those, and we managed to get it positive. So we were at least positive in terms of the wage bill, which is really important this year. So now we can hopefully go. The problem is that players don't want to re-sign. I have tried to re-sign or confirm players for the future on low wages and nobody wants to sign. He has already opted out of his deal. I tried to sign him, he doesn't want to resign. Nobody is interested in resigning. So we are like really in the shit right now with everything. Um, like I think uh, if we go to happiness maybe, I can see it. Uh, yeah, people, people are starting to get annoyed stuff. Where is, um, I don't think you can look at contract. In essence, they, they gave me a, uh, like, in the transfer recruitment meeting, they gave me a list of all the players that are on expiring deals. And they said, like, here's how each player feels. And all of them said, the club does not meet the financial means to re-sign them, which is a massive problem for us. Now, the good thing is, is that I've gotten great team cohesion. The club atmosphere is improving. And the managerial support is meh, but I'm fine with that. We can improve that throughout the season. So we've gotten th the dynamics over, which is going to be really important because we're going to have to build a really strong foundation of a club. Now, um, the contrasting personalities and the professionalism is one of my concerns right now. So you can see we have a big group here and they have two kind of two straggler groups, which is a little bit of the, the concern. 
if we look at the experience matrix, we have very, very few experienced players. So I think one of the big things is, is once we can sign players is getting this experience in. Now, I think some of these guys could become them, but I don't know if they're going to stay. And that's the only concern. So like if we look at goalkeeping wise, it's not great. Um, up front, very little experience. I mean, like the the wings a little more, but as you see, like it's not that great. Like we don't have loads. The experience is kind of up front, but in defense, we have n not much experience at all. So it's just kind of concerning for me. Um, yeah, I just it's just a big one. I, w I want to get more experience, but we can't bring players in, so we're gonna have to rely very heavily on our youth. Now the pro of that is. If we look here, we have excellent training, excellent youth, basic youth recruitment, adequate academy coaching. So obviously the, the facilities are great. Now the recruitment isn't the best, which is going to be concerning. But hopefully we can use that to boost things. Now in terms of the finances, we did make a lot of money this month. As you can see, I managed to help us make some money, which is great. And income this month has gone up. So, so we are doing better with some income and expenditure going we're, do, we're doing all right so like stuff is going trending upwards a little bit obviously some it's going to go up and down but i'm i'm happier with how some things are going projection wise not amazing but like wages are going to go down a little bit i i know for certain um as much as like he's an amazing player i'm gonna let him go at the end of the year unless he resigns for a significantly lower wage because there's no way i can keep him in essence um if we look at uh, where is it on long-term deals, these are all the players that are set to leave. And look at the quality here. Like the these guys, there is serious quality in this in this set that's grouped to leave. And one of our best players, some of our best players, like potential-wise, can all leave. So it's really concerning, and we have a lot to do and a lot to work on. But hopefully, turn the ship around and get them a little enticed maybe with some things here and there. Now there are a few players like he can probably leave. I don't think it's going to be in the world. He maybe can leave too. So there's like a few players here and there but we're going to have to do everything we can to hold on to people and we're going to have to hope that the academy players will sign with us because we still have to sign the academy players even when we get them which is the biggest issue. Now season wise um, if we look at the table we are expected to finish in ninth place now that's not terrible not bad at all um obviously the board um wants us to get mid table so that would fit mid table which would be great um so i think that's so in essence let's kind of hope to do that now they want entertaining football use system and reach the playoffs now we really got to try to reach the playoffs because they have a good uh amount of control the supporters they have high control over the board, so we really need to make sure that we do well with that. Now, money-wise, like gate receipts, we're actually making a decent amount of money through the through the tickets, which is good. So we just got to make sure we can really do well and entice a lot of people to come to games and really, hopefully, make some money. Yeah, that's kind of a recap of everything that's going on. I'm scared shitless of the financial issues. I have no idea how we're going to do, and yeah, it's freaking me the fuck out, and I don't know if we're going to be okay. But here's the squad. Um, this should be saved properly. Yep, here it is. Um, this is kind of like the uh, the main thing of what we're going to go with. Obviously, you can just pop in there or whatever. That's pretty much another starting 11. Let's just resave this. And there we go. This is our team that I think we're going to use for the season. Backline, frontline, everybody. He's been exceptional throughout preseason. Um, same of these two. Obviously, these two have been good too, and these two. So we have some players that have done pretty well. I mean, my best performers, I think, have been Guller, as well as Shaheen have kind of been uh, best. So hopefully they can do as well. Now, we are coming up against a team, these guys here, who don't look too shabby themselves. Uh, in the league, I think they're predicted above us. No, I'm confusing them with these guys. No, no, they are. No, they're right here, yeah. They're predicted second, so this is definitely going to be a rough game. And they've brought in some players on loan from first division teams here, which is going to be a little concerning. So we got to make sure we do well, and hopefully we can get a result to start the season off well, because I'd be really, really scared if we don't. Now, obviously, opposition instructions. I'm going to do what we want here. 
So we've been playing. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to go right into the game. All right, boys. <laughs> Give me a result. Let's get something good here. Shit. That didn't work at all. So we're matching up formationally. Wow, these riveting fans. Give some encouragement to start. Make sure uh, key highlights. Replay behind the goal. Goals. Miss penalties and disallowed goals. Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, already. I don't know why this is reset for the league game. I had it set up for... Oh, God. Come on, guys. Really? <laughs> Seriously? Just, just why, why are you following him? I love that so much. All right, we have a set piece here. Ooh, good save. A good shot from us. Happy with that. Shane swings the corner in. It's headed clear. Knocked back in, but they get it clear again. We get something going here. Looped back into the box. Oh, their keeper's headed out. Can you get it? In the open goal? Oh, he's missed! How is he missed? How has he missed that? Oh my god, it should be level. Guys, guys, you've got to be kidding me here. It, it's... It, I, I tell you to, like, mark and stay back. It's just, like, what are you doing? What are they doing? Cannot figure out what on earth they're doing. I need to fix that. This whole thing. Why? I don't know why it didn't save when I changed when it's a league game. I did it for the friendlies, and now it like hasn't saved anything. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? This is some of the worst defending I've ever seen in my entire life. The problem is that we've had more shots, and we have a better XG. Alright, um, what was that? Can you just get them pumped up a little bit? Um, what have they done that's been very good? Um, no, bring me back to... Medical data, teams. All right, let's see. No, 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 no. All right, so they're heavily in the middle. They're set up like that. Uh, players. No, I, I want like, so average positions is this. They're set up like that. There should be space out wide. Maybe if we can push the ball wider. Yeah, let's let's try it. I have a few ideas. All right, let's see. Let's see how these. No, no, no. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I'm acting like an idiot right now. Okay. 
Um, no. Alright, I want you to mark specific player, mark their 10. Drop the line off, go to a mid block. Take short, shoot it to, the, to our deep line playmaker. Let's go wide, play out of fence, slightly shorter, higher tempo. Move into channels, good. Dribble more, cut inside with the ball. <clears throat> Stay wider and get further forward. Nope. See a few little changes like that can't make a difference. Go attacking as well. Sub. Nowhere near as good, but it's something. Which is the one that's the. You're the lefty. You're the righty. You know, because you did well in preseason. Then it's you, yep. Oh my god, get to the ball! There we go. Yes! There we go. All right. Back in the game. Back in the game. Back in the game. Our back line is tiring a lot right now. Which we'll do it. Final slip if I can. Alright, come on. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. You got this. You got this. No! Alright, it's okay. It's okay. More chances. We're getting more chances. Changes have made a big difference. Whip that in. Can he get ahead to it on the back? Oh, oh he's keepers dropped it! Oh, 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 oh! I think we need to put the crosses in the air. Because this keeper's dropping a lot, so let's try to float them in a little more now. Oh, you cannot get beat! <sighs> Come on, guys. Come on. I know, I know. Just push for it at the end, boys. Come on, just push for it. Really push for it. Let's go wide right away. Put a little more width, get a little more direct. Have them start wider, they can hopefully get in a little more.
All right, good. Towards the back, hopefully he gives away off a kick. Well, we need to win this in there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, okay. We didn't need to kick it right back. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh on the ground! Oh, that's so disheartening. We had... So look at the XG! The chances! That open goal is going to haunt me. He missed an open goal. Ugh. Oh. Part of the reference regardless. Alright. It's alright. Be positive. Oh, that's that's a painful one. But hey, there's some good stuff from that game. There's some good things. Some good stuff for sure. We gotta play a team that's also good. We're starting the season in a rough fashion. Oh yeah, you would think that scoreline's the other way with those stats. Oh, that that one hurts. That one hurts indeed. Now uh, there is the cup coming up, so I think it's a bit of a jump to go from this game to the cup. So I think maybe we'll. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in between, so maybe we go one, two, three, four, one and two, one, two, three. Maybe. Yeah, maybe something like that. I think that might be a bad idea. These two, play these two games. And then, um, Cup and another team. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, that, and then we can play the Cup and these, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. You can do the Cup and that, and then we can do the, the winter break after. Liking those, liking those ideas. All right, sweet. Perfect. So, yeah, that is going to wrap up this episode. Little recap of what's happened before and stuff like that, as well as, um, the first game of the season, which sadly ended in defeat. But it was a way against the team supposed to be in the top of the league, and we are only supposed to be mid-table, so we'll take that. Now, next time, I will catch you guys. We will come back for Dusha Spore and uh, Esparza 32 Spore. And those will be the two games we come back for. I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of the remaining highlights or any of the other episodes you can check the playlist um the playlist link as well as the offline highlights link in the description and you can make sure to catch those on tiktok or youtube thanks so much for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one